cette sangle. Oh, il y a des sons. Ok. So, let me focus. Ok. Hello? Hello, Sean. Uh, yes, um, who is this? That does not matter. I just called you to tell you to check your cupboard. What? Check my cupboard? Okay, I I'll check my cupboard. Yes, you better do or I'll get angry. Okay. Some stranger calling me and telling me to check my cupboard. Nah. I have to practice. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, let me do it again. Nino, 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 Nino. I said you to check your cupboard. Okay, okay. I will check. Please, don't scream like this. Okay, bye. I'll check. What are these people's problem? Check my cupboard. Okay. Scary animated videos. Does that mean I have to react to scary animations? Oh no. Well, I guess I have to do it. Hi guys, welcome to a brand new video guys. Yeah guys, before you click out of this video, I don't want you to click out. This is not going to be that scary guys. It is only going to be scary for children who are 5 or below 5. Above that can watch. Simple. No problem. It's not so scary. But you can get nightmares. So don't watch it in the night. That's why I am in the like, morning watching it. So yeah. Let's just start. I don't want to waste time. So yeah. Let's go to the video guys. Okay guys. For the first one. I'm going to go with something which is popular. Like popular. It is the pizza. Deliver horror story. Yeah, it's animated. But yeah, it will be maybe a little scary. I don't know. I didn't see this. I know I've heard the story and all. But it will be very good to see it. So it's written true pizza delivery horror story animated. Okay, let's just click play. I was out doing a delivery. Probably the longest drive I have ever taken for a pizza delivery. From the pizza place I worked at, it was a 20 minute drive, which isn't too crazy out where I live. Plus, there oh. were four large pies, so I figured it was a party and I would get a much bigger tip. Navigating the dirt roads at night was always annoying, though. I pulled up to the given address. There is a party? Dude, don't trust that person. Guys, I think this is not going to end well. Okay. There were no cars parked anywhere or any lights on. He's going to trap you. Don't go in there. Boss. I asked him to read the address at least three times to make sure I typed it in right, but that checked out. I could tell he was in a really bitchy mood, and he told me to at least knock on the door and check it out. Okay. So Yeah, that is. I was extremely unnerved, but got out anyway and forced myself to the front door of the building. Okay. There was no doorbell, so I just knocked really hard. This looks not so good. So you should not go there. I didn't really expect to hear anything. Don't go in there. I was extremely disappointed. Not because nobody else. I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know why. Okay, who's that? Dude, you're knocking this much times. No one is opening the door. Just proves that something is not right. Okay. I guess 
you want to go inside and get kidnapped by that guy i don't know what he do to you but i don't tell me i didn't warn you i warned you don't go in there guys would you go inside like a scary places guys and yeah by watching this i'm remembering should i make haunted house next one like one of the chapter 3 yeah short film if you want you can put in the comments Oh. I knocked again and yelled that I was the pizza guy. There was silence now. I felt a bit more uncomfortable now than before. Now go at least. Before I could turn around, I noticed something at the window. Was what? Someone looking through the window. I couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. All I noticed were their eyes. Their eyes were open wider than I knew possible. Okay. disturbed enough by this drop the pizzas and ran back to my car oh no dude get away from there the thing wouldn't start until turning the key for the third time yeah now go just like go dude back onto the dirt road okay look that man is creepy but why did you drop your pizza over there bro good question you are a good question you know how much money it costs and you know how much people don't get food okay now what can i do Okay. Now I think I'm 50% confirmed that that man is going to do something to him like like I don't know will it kill him or something but yeah he's it's not going to end so fast he's going to get stuck somewhere something is going to happen I'm 50% sure but 50% not sure because it can't end so fast I knew it. So Something is it. That I couldn't even drive. Sit. The car came to a stop. I got out. Oh, of is it his tire punctured? The trail ran up my spine. What? As I began to feel like my heart was constantly skipping beats. My tires had been slashed and I'd completely fallen off the rim. Oh my god. All four tires were slashed. I realized somebody did this when I was knocking on the door to that building. Dude. Instead of running, I got back in the car and locked the doors. Yeah. Call the call call the police. That building, you could practically see it from where I was. If it weren't for the trees blocking the view. I okay. dialed 911 and explained everything to the operator. She told me the cops would be over as soon as possible. Okay. So I need to stay here. That's a good job. I asked her if it was advisable to stay in the car or run. And she told me it would be best to stay in the car with the door locked. Yeah. She asked me to stand the line with her until the cops arrive. My whole body was shaking. Guys, I have a question for you guys. Will you stay in the car or run? I would definitely stay in the car or run. What? Go outside then that will kill you. Bro, don't don't do that. Guys, I don't know if you guys are brave enough to run because that person can be dangerous. So yeah. In all directions, there was nothing but dark, seemingly endless forest. I knew it would take forever for the cops to get there. I was not comfortable with sitting in a car so close to whoever did this. Okay. That's part though. Is what utterly destroyed me. It still shakes me to this day, and I hope nobody ever has to experience this kind of fear. As I was scanning all the windows, making sure nobody was outside, I looked in the rear view. Obviously, you will see that person. The same person, the same person I saw at that window. Bro, uh, you can't see him clearly. You don't know what type of person it is. It can be just a normal. It was a woman. I could ever so slightly see a smile begin to spread across her face. I opened. Dude. Okay I understood that's a woman and I I thought it was a man but why are you getting scared and running that looks like someone crazy who was admitted in a mental hospital 
and ran away from there dude it can be that also because it's not a it's not a, like a creature or something it's a human only so yeah my door born sprinted into the woods not caring how much noise i made i ran until i was out of breath the guy's i think brave he's really brave he's running yeah hard Then the police, I think, yeah, police came, right? Yeah. I gathered up all the stamina I had left to run all the way. Yeah, run, road to road run. Go to the police. Eventually, the glowing red and blue lights came into view. Yes, yes. Is it the police or? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the police. Investigating with flashlights. I came out yelling at them like a lunatic to help me. I fell to the floor and started to gag, almost throwing up. running so much. Okay. They picked me up and began to question me, to which I explained everything to the best of my ability. Hey, I'm the police. What happened over here? Oh, officer. Oh, there, there was someone. He, he tried to attack me, officer. Oh, no. Officer, please help me. Officer, please. Okay, okay. We will help you. But come on with us. Get in the car. One of the two cars drove over to the building. The two officers began to search the building. Okay. back with nothing except for a couple of spiky objects. What? These objects were exactly the same as the ones used to slash my tires. Oh. The cops guessed that it was some kind of sick demented couple being that I saw the woman, but unfortunately they were never found. And that still kills me to this day. I obviously quit my job right after that and started working at a local grocery store. I know that I'll never forget seeing that woman in the back of my car okay yeah i got it dude wait look guys that cat that person is just over there okay yeah that was actually scary and what of, of course it was scary right yeah right yeah scary boo okay but yeah honestly it was scary but I can't understand, dude. How can you find them? The police didn't find them. They can't go so far like that and all. And yeah, it might be just a dream, bro. Are you sure? Okay. I hope you like this video, guys. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, and comment down in the comment section if you want me to put part two. And yeah, eight likes. I will watch another one of these horror animated. short film story uh, uh i don't know why am i doing this but yeah i will watch it in the night in the night no joke in the night but you have to like it eight likes otherwise no problem right you don't have to do it till six or seven likes you don't have to otherwise yeah you don't have to okay i hope you like uh, that you um you had you you i hope you like this video guys i'll see you guys in the next video let's stay tuned and stay awesome Peace. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe and tell us in the comments what video should we make next. Thank you.